Okay, y'all, I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. Jalen Walker. This is so sad. It has the last name, same last name as me. Um, and let me say, this is July 4th, 2022. So I'm um, also we're celebrating the 4th of July. But I can understand how in Akron, Ohio, they're like, forget <laughs> a celebration. You all just shot a man. I mean, our news, again, I'm out here in LA, but actually it was the ABC news that said basically it was 60 times I think it was ABC News it could have been on but one of the news said something about that they shot this man 60 plus times um and he was actually getting away if I'm not mistaken again he was um first of all he was getting away in a car but then more news is saying um he was on foot but he was running away so whenever a person is running away they are not a threat they are running away so again I pray for Jalen Walker's um family um I think this is just so sad um and just praying for all of us because again, you know, black people, you know, getting just killed and shot, you know, in the streets, you know, even um, if something happened. Matter of fact, they were saying it was something about they were just stop. They, they, again, I do ear things. I can't do it with my other hand because it's holding the phone. Um, something about um, something was not right. That something was broke on the car or something. And so literally, um, all this came from something. And then that's why. Um, I want to say thank God for our because I want to say here in LA they started a thing where um, something about you just can't simply stop but if you stop a person for that minor thing you got to stick with that minor thing and for this very reason because sometimes people are stopped for uh, a light is out or something then all of a sudden turns into a killing you know um, and it's, it's just sad so with Jalen Walker in, o in Akron Ohio where they were saying it was something simply with a car and now it's turned to him getting shot 60 plus bullets 60 plus and he wasn't even going towards the police he was trying to get away from the police and that's the thing that really gets me when the police get to talking about um it was a threat how was he threatening you and he was running away from you he was you know and from what i'm understanding again he was going away from I keep doing my like that, y'all, away from, you know, and so it's just so sad, you know, because I even had a cousin that was shot there, and I thank God he lived, but still, you know, the point of where the police keep talking about, oh, well, I was threatened, how are you threatened if they're running away from you, they're going away from you, so they're not even, they're trying to get away from the police, <laughs> that's not a threat if they're running away from the police. You know, now, yes, the police may be trying to catch the person, but you can't shoot the person <laughs> to catch the person. I mean, I don't think you should. You shouldn't be able to. Um, not 60 plus times. Well, not any times, truthfully. So, again, it goes back to policing in America, policing of black people, um, how it's almost like, you know, the court system and everything is done right there in the streets. And now that I'm hearing that, again, all this started where something about they wanted to stop him for something was broke on the car. But then we have to go back to where I thank God for our activists out here in L.A. We have to go back to, though, was um, was there something actually broken on the car or is it that they just wanted to stop him because he was black? Again, racism. You know, when you're black, they just feel like they have the, they can just stop you for anything. You know what I'm saying? So is it a thing, too, that because he was black, they making up a reason to stop him, you know, to check other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they make those reasons up of something wrong with the car, the lights out, or look like this was out, you know, for them to stop because then they want to try to check your car. Because unfortunately, with black, which now they've been talking, I'm glad that the news have been talking about, they've been talking about the different studies that show that black people are stopped way more than any other race um, when they're driving. That's why some black people are scared to drive, you know, because they're just like, but, you know, guess what, you all? <laughs> you know, I got a car and I do drive sometimes, but sometimes I don't even drive. I know I was just in a store the other day. Now, here I am at the cash register, you all, paying for my product. <laughs> and then you have a security coming to you. I'm like, so I don't know what you, trying to keep, I said, look. This is what I used to start pointing to the stuff that's right here that I already scanned. I got my credit card out. About to, well, not credit card, but a debit card out. Um, get ready to pay for my stuff. And so I'm like, what you see right here and what I'm paying for is what I, you know, <laughs> you know, but it's just sad. So you don't even have to be driving to be accused of stuff, um, which, you know, every black person knows about, you know, how you go in the store, you're followed. But now just come in, you're accused of stuff. So I just simply tell them, go look at your camera, <laughs> you know, but it's almost like you all, we might have to carry cameras ourselves. 
um, or have our camera on when we're in the store, you know, because I'm like, huh, so now do I need to have my camera on to go back to show, no, you know, and with that incident for me, I have been trying to get help, you know how they have everything, at least out here in LA, y'all, they got everything locked up in the stores, you know, so I was trying to buy a product that was locked up, so I had constantly been going up to the front to try to get a cashier or somebody to come unlock, you know, so I can get my product so I can go. Um, so I had the hardest time getting help, and then one of the ladies who I was asking help, she kept telling me she about to get off, and um, but she did at least call for somebody helping. So she told me to go back over, so back to the aisle, and I'm waiting, you know. And um, then the person finally does um, come, and she was very nice. I do like her. That lady, she oh my god, she was so nice and sweet, you know. But um, then when we walking back up, here's the lady again who could not help me because she said she about to get off, right? Cause so then as I'm seeing her again, cause I, I first encountered her at a cash register. And so I thought maybe she was opening up a cash register. So I was like, okay. I was like, well, can you check me out? And you know, cause again, she's right up there again. You know, what is it? I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. Cause she kept saying she about to get off. She said, oh no, I'm about to get off. I was like, oh, okay. You know, she said, oh, me and niggas. I'm like, okay, fine. Yeah, I'm white lady, you know, Karen. Um, okay, no, but I'm gonna tell you why I call her Karen. Because then later, so then the girl was like, okay, you have to go, she gonna take the product. You don't need to let your product. They think you're gonna steal. So, she was going to take the product to the counter. I was like, well, you know, I want to get in the self checkout thing, you know. And so then she said she's going to take the product up there. And um, so I told her I was going to stand. So the person that's that's manning, the employee that's manning the self checkout, so he can see those are my razors. You know what I'm saying? And I'm waving my hand like that. And so, um, so I get in line. So now I'm up to, again, I see this lady, Karen. <laughs> I'm calling. I know what we say about Karen, you know, because Karen is accusing me of doing something. You know what I'm saying? That's why I call her Karen. And so I see her again, the same lady that never could help me <laughs> in the store. This is her job now. But she's constantly everywhere I am. So I'm like, interesting, because she keeps saying she's about to get off. So I'm standing there, you know, waiting to be next, you know, and um, her and I guess I was security. Well, I later found out that I was a security lady looking at me as if they're talking about me. So I'm sitting there like, okay. And, um, you know, and so then, like I said, this is where I get up to the counter and I'm, I'm paying for my stuff and security walk up to it. And I'm like, oh, well, also when Karen see me, that's what we can call her. Uh, <laughs> and she see me look, because I'm looking like this interesting, you know, um, that they're looking at me like they're talking about me. And then that she kept saying she had to go. So I'm like, she's still here, you know. <laughs> and so um, then she's like, oh, I, I got to go. And I'm like, yeah, that would make sense. Since you see, I seen you and you never could help me because you kept saying you were getting off. But yet, everywhere I am, yet then I later realized she had been following me. So she supposed to be here to get off, but yet she followed me in the store. Again, so this is what black people got to deal with, okay? Um, and um, so that's why I tell you, going then going back to the part I was saying. So I'm checking out stuff, and then you got security sitting up there talking about, well, and anyway. So I'm saying, you know, so I, I, I went into that part because I was saying some black people are scared to drive. But... Not, we don't even have to drive as black people. We can just be going to a store or just be out about. All of a sudden, you hear a lot of times where black people get stopped because something just happened in the neighborhood, and all of a sudden, you're black and you walk by. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they, you did, and you're like, oh, I ain't done nothing. You know? So, anyway, it's just sad what happened to Jalen Walker. Just very sad. And again, this is happening to black people over and over again in America. I say I got my because it is the 4th of July. But again, we have to go back to. The song, if you go on my um, social media, so you can go on uh, TikTok, that's um, at Michelle Hope Walker. My Instagram is at Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. My Facebook is Michelle Hope Walker Speaks, period. Listen. And my Twitter is Hope underscore Speaks. Uh, my YouTube is Michelle Walker Speaks. So I did like a little medley for the 4th of July, you know. And uh, one of my little songs I did is This is America, right? Because going back to childish gambino this is america you know what i'm saying this stuff you know so shouts out to you akron ohio i know that's right akron is like oh we ain't celebrating america today <laughs> you know y'all know i'm comedian so i'm not saying it's funny about what happened i'm saying no i feel you akron ohio i feel you you know what i'm saying because you like you know yes it's the fourth of july but we are dealing with an incident of a person being shot Again, one of the news media said 60 plus times, you know, but any time, rather it was one bullet, it's too much. Okay, what I'm saying? Because he wasn't, from what I'm understanding, nowhere near an officer. Okay, he was trying to get away. Um, and that's where they're even trying to teach. My person trying to get away, if you can't get them without shooting them, then almost just let them go. Just let them go. Especially if your whole point was, as the police are saying, 
they were just stopping him for something wrong with his car. So I'm guessing a tail light out or, or something. Why are you going through all this to capture this? When did he become a suspect? You know, and, and that's like he's saying, it should never be surprising when people run from the police. They always get me when they get to talking about, oh, well, they must have done something wrong. They run it. No, y'all killing people. That's why they run. Nobody would end up dead. You know, so that's why they're running. You know, and I'm like, by this point, the police should even know that. So we should not constantly hear this theory anymore uh oh well they were running so they must have done no 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 and i they, you know i keep saying this on videos i guess i'll say it again <laughs> when they run that does not mean they've done anything and I, I mean it's just always a scary thing when police or security or someone is coming after you and you know you have done nothing wrong and it's really scary when you're black because when you're black, you know that you can be accused of something. And we have plenty of innocent people in jail right now. You can be accused and convicted and not have done nothing wrong when you are black. So, yes, it is a very scary thing when black people are stopped by the police or have security, you know, security or anything. Because just because we're black, they won't believe you. They'll just assume you did something wrong. Because some people relate with the skin color of black to that we're wrong. <laughs> It'd be amazing, you know, all because of a skin color. That somebody would think that you've done something bad. <laughs> you know, so, so amazing or that you're a bad person, you know. Um, to me, when, and that's why I, I think they're crazy. When they try to say something wrong, no, that's crazy. When you don't like somebody because of the color of their skin. That is ludicrous to me. <laughs> and and to think something bad about that person you know and i know people well i know this one person did so what there's somebody in your race that done something wrong we don't blame everybody in your race for it you know see <laughs> everybody's still an individual no matter what race you're in you know i thank god that i've been raised where we all love one another regardless of your race you know and so i thank god for my family of being raised in that way you know and um Living out here in LA, I had to learn some things, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all know I'm happy go lucky, you know what I'm saying? And I try to figure out why I'm happy go lucky, speaking to people and nice. What? Why are you getting this attitude? Well, I, let me tell you, I had to learn. <laughs> some people uh, don't like black people, and so they don't even care if you're happy. They don't like you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then they're looking at you mean, what you happy about, you know, type thing. You know, you be like, ah, you know. <laughs> or, you know, just because you're skin color, they don't want you speaking to them. They're like, oh, you're like, okay, well, I was just being nice. I'm sorry. You know, I've learned when people get to act evil because sometimes you get people of your own race too, you know what I'm saying? I just be like, oh, my man, you know, I just don't say nothing. I've learned silence. <laughs> uh, Y'all, I've learned silence can be a good best friend. Just be quiet. Just, oh, nobody. <laughs> you know, leave folks alone. They won't be bothered. Leave them alone. <laughs> But you get, I wouldn't bother them anyway. But I'm just talking about, you know, when you pass somebody or, you know, an event. You're like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, or I'm just, you know. And, you know. And, but anyway, it's just, it's just so sad what happened to Jalen. So, again, Akron, Ohio, I'm with you. You know, do your march. Do whatever you need to do out there in them streets. Because that is not right what happened to Jalen Walker. It is not right at all. You know, I just did a song, you know, um called how long you know how long do we have to deal with this systemic racism and the government keeps letting it go on and that's why sometimes when the government get on these different issues you know the different politicians are pretty different prison or different folks I, i'm still looking at them about y'all still have not resolved that black people are getting killed daily <laughs> for they ain't done nothing not that anybody, because other races are doing stuff, but they don't get killed for it. They at least get arrested and go to court. And then we know how it goes in court. If you got the money, you get off of whatever you were accused of or did. You know what I'm saying? You know, for other races. Now, not black people. Unfortunately for us, sometimes we can even have the money and a good lawyer. And somehow we still will end up in jail. But, um, again, so that's racism, you know. So that's why I'm just still on, you know, I hear you when you talk about, oh, this country going through this. Or... When they get to talking about, oh, well, this is your inflation or this or that, you know, but I'm still like, we still got Jalen Walker incidences where a black person is being killed for nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it's just because, again, if the police are saying they stopped him for something wrong, then that don't mean he did anything wrong. You're saying that something was, so I'm thinking 
So you was just trying to stop him to tell him, oh, you're, you know, I don't know what it was that they were saying, it was, but it was supposed to be something. So how did something not right with his car, and when we say not right, I'm just thinking something, you know, I don't know what it could be. I don't even want to put nothing out there because you don't want people to think, oh, well, it was this or was that. But how did that go from that simple thing to Jalen being shot 60 plus times? You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's ludicrous. It's ridiculous. So, you know, I get you. Oh, Akron, Ohio, you know, you're like, yes, it is the fourth. And matter of fact, we're going to exercise our American right to march and protest about what just happened. I'm with you. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? So, and hopefully, you know, so for all of us and for politicians and to our president and everyone, um, you know, they please do something. Please stop this. Harass systemic racism that black people got to deal with. Like I said, my example, I'm just in the store and all of a sudden I get accused and I get so scary is because it looked like everybody was believing this and I ain't done nothing wrong. <laughs> you know, but again, because you're black and someone says you do something wrong, then everybody will believe that person. And that's why I try to tell people, <laughs> that's why I try to tell people that when you hear or you see that a black person being accused, don't believe them too quick. First, you get the information yourself and be like, now, wait a minute, you accusing them of what? Now, did you see them do that? You know, don't be so quick to just assume because of the color of their skin that they didn't done something wrong. Because so that's where it gets scary for black people because all it takes is for somebody to accuse somebody, a black person of doing something and the next minute you know the person could be in jail and then like, like you know how the court system go. There's so many innocent black people in jail right now because they didn't have the money like I said for black people. Even if you got the money for a good lawyer, they will still just figure you did it. You know what I'm saying? And so, and again, don't get it twisted because I'm not talking about people that actually done something. You know, I'm to, but, but again, we have to look at even people that have actually done something still get their fair day in court. They don't get killed on the street. You don't see too many non-black people getting killed on the street because somebody accused them of something. No, 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 no. Matter of fact, I hear in L.A., you will see they will chase them all around and sometimes just let them go. And I'd be like, oh, I know that person was not black because they don't, they, they do not let up. <laughs> we, we could not even be doing nothing. And they just will, you know, lock you down like you didn't stole the world or like you didn't kill the world. You know what I'm saying? That's how they do black people. So again, the incident with Jaden Walker, this is so sad. Um, so, you know, again, President Biden, we need you to do something. You talk about gun violence, but right now it's the police that's killing more black people than anything. You know what I'm saying? And they right now have the right to have guns you know what i'm saying so that's what always get me when they do get to talking about the gun control and the gun violence that's not gonna help black people that's not gonna help black people because it's the police that's killing the black people so you could do all the gun control but i mean the police have the right to carry guns and they're killing black people i mean so that wouldn't really help black people overall a lot um you know it's uh you know biden and some of the other politicians, you really need to do more about the systemic racism. Um, and, you know, I was thinking, too, you know, it shouldn't be a thing of when we're popular. Because right after George Floyd, I guess, you know, it was popular to fight against racism. And everybody was, yes, you know, I guess we're not as popular anymore. And so now <laughs> it's back to cops killing black folks. And um, people are just like, well, you know, you know, because a lot of times the first time, the first thing people usually say is, oh, they must have done something. And I'm just like, you don't know that. <laughs> and in this case, again, from what I'm hearing, they're saying it was something not right. Something was broke on the car. So then I'm guessing the police were just, I guess, trying to tell them, hey, you know, this is broke on the car. So it's like, why, how did the police go into shooting this young kid 60 plus times? And again, black people are running from the police because police are killing black. They're killing black people even when you did nothing wrong. Even when you stay right there and do everything. What was the incident when the guy, he was doing everything the police told him to do. And they still shot him <laughs> and killed him. You know, so for black people, it's like, if I do what they tell me to do, you get shot when you don't do me, you know. So for some of these kids, they just take off running. They like, maybe if I get home, <laughs> maybe at least I get around some people that can help me to help make sure they don't shoot me. You know, I don't know. 
but it, it's just really sad. So racism, you know, you all know I ran for president in 2016, and um, even then I was telling them racism is the number one topic subject in America. Yes, race systemic racism against blacks. And you have to say against blacks because people will stand up for racism against everybody else. But when it comes to black people, no one's, a lot of people aren't doing too much cheering <laughs> on helping um, to save black folks. You know what I'm saying? From the systemic racism. Matter of fact, I had a hate crime that was done against me by another race. And I don't know, I think they still didn't consider it a hate crime, but here I am at home. Now I'm at home, y'all. I'm at home in my own locked building, locked parking lot. <laughs> And this person is breaking in all the different things of our locks and you know um, And then left a hate note talking about slaves go back. So I'm sitting here like, you know, this is clearly a hate crime But no, no <laughs> They didn't consider it a hate crime So, you know, racism in America against blacks is so real You know, blacks can just be minding their business, doing what they do People gotta stop and see what the black person doing Oh my God, what are they doing? You know? <laughs> Why? Not because they want to see the great things to come give us a compliment, but because they always think we're doing something bad, so they want to look. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and again, to a lot of you all out there, you know, they're like, well, I don't do that. Thank you. I am glad you don't do that. <laughs> um, but then, like I always tell you all, a lot of times we're also talking about the power structure, the race, the systemic racism in the power structure. So as we talk about Jalen Walker, we're talking about the racism in police departments. Um, and like I said, there's the incident I actually so racism where you got security officers that are racist. You know what I'm saying? Um, that um, really hurt black people, you know, in the sense where even sometimes innocent black people are getting arrested. Y'all know, once a black person get arrested, it is hard to get up out of jail. <laughs> One, because everybody gonna believe everything, whatever the other person talk, you know, and unfortunately, like, you know, as they nicknamed the people Karen, you know, or I don't know if we got a, man, a name for the uh, man when he's being racist against blacks, but um, maybe they called him Karens too, but they can call the police and say whatever and people will simply believe them. They will simply, if you don't have a camera that helps you out, that show everything that went on, or some people that will speak up on your behalf. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes if the people can be non-black, that helps. Because <laughs> unfortunately, then they don't even believe other black people. Um, you know, and you know, I do comedy as a great personality. So again, I do comedy about this whole racism thing, about the, the ludicrousness of it. You know, how ludicrous and how crazy it is that black people have to experience, this is 2022, that black people still have to experience this. It's crazy, I just, it's just really crazy, <laughs> you know. Um, and then I heard Biden speak out on, I don't know if Biden has spoke out about what happened with Jalen. Have you Biden spoke out about what happened with Jalen? Well, you know, because we have to watch it, you know, politicians will speak out about other things that go on, but when black people are being killed by the police, I notice they get quiet. Everybody, the Democrat Party get quiet. The Republican Party, well, we expected that they would probably be quiet. I mean, but folks just get quiet, you know? And you be like, no, wait a minute. You know, but they speak loud on other subjects. They speak right now. People are speaking very loud on a lot of other subjects. So you right, Akron, on how y'all stay speaking loud on what happened on, on Jalen Walker. Not just act all over. All of us need to be, you know, um, in an outrage, an outcry of this, you know, because it's just sad. And it's just, that's why, you know, my son is, how long? How long? How long? And then I got the song too, um, they hate us. They hate our skin color. It's just sad, literally. But we love our skin color and we love the skin that we in, all right? You know what I'm saying? But it's sad, a lot of this stuff is happening to black people because they're black. <laughs> that is, I mean, crazy, just very crazy. All right, y'all, it's the 4th of July, but this video here is about Jalen Walker, and again, that is sad, so my condolences. Well, wait a minute, I don't wanna say that because I don't know if, um, Mm, I saw I got to continue to look at the news to get more on it. So I don't know because I don't want to say I don't know if he's in the hospital right now or they are or past, but um, praying. So I'm praying. Um, it, uh, so much going on I'm trying to stay on the news and everything. But um, but anyway, um, again, Akron, Ohio. Yes. You know, you keep marching. You keep standing up. 
Um, and not just Akron, all of us, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know LA is real good, that I'm sure it might be a March or something somewhere because when something happens anywhere, you know, um, our Black Lives Matter, our LA Black Lives Matter, and, and um, some of the different groups will be out here marching for no matter where it is, you know, um, of black people, um, you know, um, being shot by police. And so I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. And so again, um, praying for Jalen's family and just praying for all of us, you know, um, because again, whenever we see one black person, you know, this happens to them, we, you know, that all of us is just, you don't know who's going to be next. You don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's sad. It's really, really sad because we shouldn't have to, you know, um, you know, be concerned or worry for our lives constantly like that, you know? So I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. It's July 4th. 2022 um the 4th of july um and um so you can follow me at tiktok that's at michelle hope walker instagram is um at michelle hope walker speaks facebook is michelle hope walker speaks period listen uh twitter is at hope underscore speaks so we're praying for Jalen walker's family and everything that has um happened you know, and just praying, um, and again, just praying for all black people, you know, because each day, <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, and I know sometimes when you say that, you get other, well, well you know, we have it hard. Y'all, I don't, mm -mm, y'all don't have it like black, mm -mm, no, you don't, not like us. <laughs> Everywhere we go, <laughs> no matter where we go, you know, we love the color of our skin, but the color of our skin, and, I, and then I will have to say just the whole point that we're black, because there are some other races that are the same color as us. And, but they still don't endure the racism that black people, African-American people, um, have to endure and deal with. You know what I'm saying? Um, this stuff here is 24-7 everywhere. <laughs> and so I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. Uh, you know, and I only that because it's sad. You know, and again, I do comedy, so you know, and I talk about this stuff. And that's the part that I talk about. This is so sad. That is ludicrous. It doesn't make any sense on how black people get killed just simply because of the color of their skin and because they're black, because they're African American. It's like modern day slavery, you know? So, again, um, you know, just praying for Jalen Walker, family, Akron, Ohio, and just praying for all of us black people, you know, because. Woo, we have to endure. Woo, Jesus. But we stay prayed up. So as I say, Jesus, right. <laughs> we stay prayed up. Because I know um, with me with comedy, I used to always say, oh, it's hard. I hear for black chick. But you know what? You know, y'all know I'm a Christian, a praying chick. You know, so I got to say, you know what? Um, you know, my thing is that, you know, and I always talk about what black women have to do. So my thing is... Um, Black chicks, God got us. God got us. Yes, we deal with a lot and racism and folks want to do all kind of crap. But you know what? God got us. At the end of the day, we stay praying. We stay, you know, um, God sees everything and God is blessing us. God is watching over us. God is pulling back the covers on people that have been crooked and doing stuff and hiding stuff and doing stuff. I'm talking about, you know, how police be hiding evidence, hiding the dirt that they did. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying all these, you know, like I said, there are no, that there are some good police officers that do right, you know. I just pray that y'all tell on the officers then that aren't doing right, you know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to tell on each other when they're doing something not right. Um, but anyway, so I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walking. The key things we stay praying, and God do got us. God got us. But we have to still stay, uh, you know, advocating for our rights, speaking up praying and also just you know doing safety met um, safety precautions for ourselves keeping cameras on us you know it's almost like we need to have a camera attached somewhere hidden no <laughs> so we can walk around with the camera so if anybody try to accuse us i'll be like nope let me, let me roll back the footage <laughs> you know what i'm saying but anyway okay y'all i'm your girl michelle hope walker okay happy fourth of july and again um say his name Jalen walker